principles of inheritance and variation session 19 in this module we are going to learn the reason for lack of recognition of mendel's work and also a new theory of inheritance namely the chromosomal theory of inheritance by the year 1865 mendel had published his works on inheritance of characters however his work did not receive due recognition until the beginning of 20th century due to several reasons. Firstly, Mendel's work could not be widely published because the means of communication was not well developed like these days. Secondly, Mendel had considered genes or factors as discrete and stable units responsible for controlling the expression of traits. He had also explained the concept of alleles and how they were responsible for the continuous variation in nature. However, his concepts about genes were not readily accepted by his colleagues. Thirdly, Mendel, for the first time, had applied statistical analysis and mathematical logic to solve problems in biology, which were objected to many biologists of his time. Finally, he could neither explain what genes were made of or nor he could provide any physical proof of the existence of genes. Hence, Mendel's work remained unrecognized till 1900 and the reasons were due to lack of communication. His concept of gene or factors were not clearly explained or he was not able to provide any physical proof of their existence. His mathematical approach for biology was not accepted by the biologist and he did not have proof for existence of factors. So for all these reasons, his works on inheritance remain unrecognized for a long period of time. Mendel's work got due credence only in 1900 when his results on the inheritance of characters were rediscovered by three separate scientists, Hugo de Ries, Karl Korenz and Eric von Schenmark. Moreover, the scientists were benefited due to advancements in microscopy that helped them to observe cell division. They discovered certain structures present in the chromosomes and these structures at the time of cell division they used to double and divide just before cell division. Just before each cell division these structures used to double and divide and they call these structures as chromosomes meaning colored bodies as these structures were visualized by staining. So they were called as chromosomes. And by 1902, the chromosome moment during meiosis was also discovered. And all this led to the discovery of the chromosomal theory of inheritance. The chromosome theory of inheritance was proposed by Walter Sutton and Theodore Bovary. So these were the two scientists who proposed the chromosome theory of inheritance and it is also called a Sutton and Bovary theory. They worked on the chromosome movement during meiosis which was discovered by 1902 and they proposed that the behavior of chromosomes is parallel to the behavior of genes. Both the chromosomes and the genes behaved in a parallel manner. And the chromosome movement is used to explain the Mendel's law. And this knowledge of the chromosomal segregation was combined along with the Mendelian principles. And a new uh, theory was put forward that is the chromosomal theory of inheritance. So they combined the chromosomal segregation which they had discovered along with the Mendelian principles and proposed the chromosomal theory of inheritance. According to this theory, the chromosome and genes both are present in pairs in the diploid cells. We know chromosomes are present in pairs 
and also genes are also present in pairs in the case of diploid cells and the homologous chromosomes they separate during gamete formation and that we have studied in meiosis meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 in meiosis 1 there is separation of the homologous chromosome resulting in the reduction of the chromosome number to half and it is due to this pairing and separation of the homologous chromosomes it results in the pairing and separation of the genes or factors which are present inside the homologous chromosome so they propose that it is a pairing of the homologous chromosomes and the separation of the homolo separation of the homologous chromosomes which leads to the pairing and separation of the factors or genes at the time of gamete formation and once after fertilization occurs it restores the chromosome number to diploid condition so the separation of the homologous chromosome during meiosis converts the diploidy condition to haploidy condition and after fertilization the haploidy condition is restored to diploidy condition so the summary of sutton and bovary chromosomal theory is that both the chromosomes and the genes behavior is in a parallel manner so there is a parallel behavior between the moment of chromosomes and also the moment of the genes at the time of meiosis and it is a pairing and separation of the homologous chromosomes which leads to pairing and separation of the factors or genes which are present in them and this combination of these chromosomal moment along with the mendel principles led to the formation of the chromosomal theory of inheritance proposed by walter sutton and theodor povery